Yeah. Uh -huh. Well. Uh -huh. So, what motivated you to get into charity, and especially to help people? health-wise and education-wise in these hearts of the forest in Man. My motivation, I was, I was very lucky to be born here in Cameroon, very lucky to have known uh, people that are poor. I wasn't born from a poor family, but I lived with poor families. I knew about poverty. When I went to United States, I was also lucky enough to meet with people that had unbelievable wealth and um, that were great businessmen, great scientists, engineers. And I could see that the lack that we have in Africa, especially like in Cameroon and in these areas, is that the children are born without no basic human needs. So there is no way for them to even try because there is nothing. So I thought I will go to those areas where children have zero chance to even know how to read and write because there was a zero school in this place and there were hundreds of children running around not knowing how to read or write and so that is that was my motivation when i thought that even in the school that they have it's only ten dollars five thousand cfa that children needed just to be registered in school and still many parents couldn't even afford it because of extreme poverty so this is what motivated me so now you have come to Mang with lots of things to help the community here and um, what, what are they? I came to Mang with hundreds, at least 600 backpacks and it's amazing backpacks made in New York. Um, I came with water bottles, I came with books enough to make a library for, for them because they have no computers here. I came with um, uh, things like underwears, children here don't have flip-flops, children come to school without shoes. I even came with some shoes, I came with some clothing, I came with, um, oh boy, I have so many things in those bags. I have toys, I have uh, all kinds of educational books, uh, yeah. lots of stuff. So, how many children are you helping in Cameroon so far? Oh, wow. In Cameroon, it's close to 3,000 children now. Um, it's many, many schools. It's about 11 schools now and about 3,000 children. 11 schools and four orphanages. And then also like in the Briquetery in Yaoundé, I have many, many families living right down deep in the deep side of Briquetery. And so I go there, it's a very, very scary area, but children there also are very poor. They, they, Three-year-old, they wake up in the morning and their job is to go on the street and beg for food or for... Uh, uh, and so I want to stop that because it's not fair to the children. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.